it's you and one army here with the first walk. We're gonna read the police blotters to you because why not? No one else is gonna do it. Let's start it off with the headlines. Because sometimes the headlines are better than the Woman consults druggy field guide. Tortillas are man's weapon of choice. Jungle juice drinker throws shoes. Four foot tall marijuana plant eludes police. Amish man accused of taking neighbor's car, crashing it. Skeleton uncovered while man hides Easter eggs. County's peripatetic cows leave colors nonplussed. Has anyone ever been just plussed? Is that even a thing? A dump truck driver reported that a man told him to get out of his truck to receive his beating. A man reported that while swimming in the lake last year, he saw an upside-down vehicle at the bottom of the lake. A state patrol trooper saw a speeding 2004 Volkswagen R32 passing other vehicles in the express lane. As the Volkswagen came out of the tunnel, the trooper clocked it going 110 miles per hour as it continued across the floating bridge. With the trooper behind him, the driver eventually pulled over. The driver told the trooper he had to get home because he was late bidding on a coveted item and eBay was about to close the auction. The suspect didn't say what he was bidding on, but the trooper said his car was filled with Star Wars stuff. A woman called to report that while her jammy-wearing intoxicated boyfriend was taking a dog for a walk, the neighbors shot at him with a pellet gun. The neighbors, described as an elderly man and a manly-looking woman, claimed they shot an air gun into the air in an attempt to get the dog to stop barking at deer. A woman called in to say that she had just shot 30 rounds into the ground to relieve the stress of a bad day. She ensured the deputy that there would be no more shooting that night. Police located a burglary suspect using the cellular phone he left charging in a wall outlet of the home he had ransacked. A burglar was caught showering by the homeowner and his two German shepherds. After the homeowner asked the man what he was doing in the house, suspect locked himself in the bathroom and called 911. A man wrapped a baggie of marijuana around an arrow and fired it at the second floor of the recreation area of the county jail. He later claimed he had been aiming at a squirrel. He had no explanation as to why squirrel hunting required attaching marijuana to an arrow, said a county sheriff. A woman flagged down a city police officer to ask him for help getting a fix of heroin. Patrolman told her that he was a police officer. She allegedly replied, that's even better because you probably have some heroin at the station that you've taken off people. I only need one bag. A female officer pulled over a 22-year-old man weaving in and out of traffic on a green moped. The suspect first attempted to bribe the officer with five dollars. After she turned down the five bucks, he offered a kiss and then said, I haven't had sex in a while, so how about we do that? Initially cited for operating a moped on an interstate, exceeding 25 miles per hour on a moped, and driving with a suspended license, he was also charged with bribery and disorderly conduct. Detective was looking through photos of gang members' tattoos when he noticed a tattoo that looked just like a murder scene he worked. The tattoo depicted a victim being shot in the liquor store in the background. The sergeant looked up an unsolved murder case. He compared the crime scene photos with the photo of the tattoos on the man's chest. Major Crimes Bureau investigators were able to locate the suspect who confessed and was booked for murder. Police officers at a domestic disturbance found a man covered in white latex paint. He told the officers, who had their tasers drawn, You see all this water-based paint? You shoot me with that and you'll kill me! 
After the officers explained that the paint would not cause his death, he crawled into the fetal position on his lawn. The officers then tasered him twice and brought him to custody. Well, he was already down. What? A man who dressed up for Halloween as a portable breathalyzer machine was cited for drunk driving and being a minor in the possession of alcohol. A 56-year-old man was arrested after he pulled over a woman he suspected was driving drunk and instructed his girlfriend to call state police for backup. A state patrol trooper arrived to find the woman with her hands raised and legs spread. When arrested, the man was wearing a yellow baton, gold security guard's badge, and silver volunteer firefighter's badge. In his vehicle were five guns, four knives, and 446 rounds of ammunition. The guns included a 308 caliber rifle with a scope, a shotgun with a laser attachment, and a fully loaded Bushmaster AR-15 rifle. He also had two dashboard-mounted video cameras, which he used to videotape the incident. After a resident asked his neighbor to walk softly in the hallway of their apartment complex, the neighbor threatened the resident with a stick, and then requested to be hit with the stick. Deputies arrived to break up a fight between a husband and wife. When they arrived, they found the 30-year-old woman had locked herself in a car. When the deputies approached her, she began yelling profanities and informed them she's a breastfeeding mother. She then pulled her right breast out of her dress and began spraying the deputies with milk. A motorist pulled alongside two police officers and said, Officer, I just stole this car. He told the officer he flagged him down because he was almost out of gas. A detective was sitting in his vehicle when a man entered, pointed a gun at him, and ordered him out of the car. The detective then drew his own gun and ordered the suspect out of the car. The man claimed it was all part of a new Batman movie he was filming. Officers responded to the home of a 36-year-old woman after a camera captured her stealing beef jerky in a convenience store. The suspect told officers she could not be arrested naked and proceeded to undress in front of her children. She then kicked one officer in the groin while being handcuffed and spit into the mouth of a female officer. Deputies spotted a vehicle driving 40 miles per hour in a 25 mile per hour zone. The plate came back to a 22 year old who had a warrant for drunken driving. He pulled over, got out of the vehicle and jumped over a fence into a sheriff's backyard. A man wearing a black mask, black jacket, and blue jeans entered a 7-Eleven brandishing the traditional Klingon Batleth sword. The crook left with an undisclosed amount of cash and fled on foot. About a half hour later, police received another call from a 7-Eleven about three miles away, reporting an attempted robbery by a man matching the same description. A woman called 911 to report that she could hear someone outside trying to steal her lawn chair. She later admitted to the deputy that the lawn chair was stolen two weeks ago, but no one had done anything about it. She wanted them to know how unimpressed she was with their efforts to recover her chair. <laughs> well, not upholsterers. Six heavily armed guys executed a picture perfect entry and surprise raid, getting the drop on armed guards and several employees. The crooks blindfolded, gagged, and tied up their victims, and then stood back to survey all the loot at their disposal. Their take turned out to be about $14,000 worth of cheap chappies chewing gum. A homeless man claimed that a woman who had temporarily given him a place to stay kicked him out because he laughed at her for putting a bucket of water in the freezer. A woman reported that it had been a while since she had heard from her cousin and asked that a deputy check on him. A deputy contacted the man and found him to be fine. However, during the conversation, the cousin reported that his wife had gone missing. The wife was found living with a local transient. The transient said he couldn't locate his mother. A man at a hotel called 911 numerous times to discuss Satan, White Fangs, nuclear holocaust, and a short list of people who should, according to him, be arrested. He was told to stop calling. He said okay. Police got a report of a man stuck in an apartment. A female came to the door and said everything was fine. Her boyfriend agreed that everything was fine. The officer asked to be allowed to look around. 
He went into a bathroom and spotted another man hiding in the tub. The male explained that he had come to see the female, and then her boyfriend showed up. Upon learning another man was in the house, the boyfriend departed. A short time later, the second male also made his exit. Thanks for sticking around for the burp walk. You're all stuff in my book. You do the dirt walk. It's a family victory, we'll walk in perpetuity. Perp walk!